Lou Harrison shelf. Last night, across a dusty street corner, I reach a junk shop, the sort whose racks and shelves of old tools and metal signs are dragged daily outside, and eventually realize I'm perusing Lou Harrison's bookshelf. The owner walks up and explains he'd once been hired to clear out Lou's home. In the middle of one side of the shelf, there's a staircase, which I follow up and into a modest concert hall mezzanine inside the house. I find myself casually in the presence of Lou's friends, who seem not to know he has died. Perhaps an earlier time before he'd gone.